Hey guys! Today we're gonna use Affinity Designer for iPad to create this 3D paper cut effect. So let's start by creating new canvas and new artboard. I have already created my color palette. Don't worry, you can find the color codes in the description down below. Color your artboard into a light blue color. Pick up pencil to turn on rope stabilizers that will help you to draw smoother traces. Use note tool to adjust your potato shape until it looks smooth and out for you. Center your shape on the artboard by using the Move tool and increase the stroke thickness if needed. So now I'm going to use my keyboard in order to show you better what happens on my screen. I'm gonna use Duplicate tool but instead of pressing the button I'm gonna use Command J. So duplicate your potato shape and scale your potato shape putting three fingers on the screen. Then repeat the duplication and you will see that the next shape has already scaled down. And now I'm gonna color each trace. Make sure your amount of the colors is the same as that amount of the shapes so you won't miss any color. And don't forget to remove the outline color. the biggest and the lighter shape. And now I'm gonna add a few shadows. To do that go to the effects and turn on inner shadow and click on it. Don't be afraid to use a pretty big radius and pretty low transparency or you can just copy my settings. Now we're gonna do the next. Go to the edits menu and press copy button. And now select the rest of your shape. Go back to the edit menu and press paste effects button or paste fx button. So now each one of the shapes is shaded. And now I would like to give to our paper cut effect a little bit more of volume and to turn this into this. We're gonna need to duplicate our shape and we're gonna start with the darkest one. Duplicate the shape, go to the bottom one and turn off inner shadow and pick up with the eyedropper the next shape's color and light it a little bit. And now go back to the original shape 
and move it slightly a little bit. Very subtle. It should be very little moment. So we're gonna achieve a kind of highlight that seems being part of the next shape. In this case, I didn't like the highlight color, it was oversaturated for me. We're gonna do the same action for the rest of our shapes. Just follow my actions. Just duplicate the shape, go to the oldest one, turn off the effects and color it into the next shape's color and then light up the color. Pick up the newest one and move it slightly a little bit. So now you know how to create a paper cut effect in Affinity Designer. I invite you to experiment with Smart Duplicate tool and different shapes. I would love you share them with me on Instagram. And I'll repost on my stories the most beautiful and creative ones. Here I let you some of my experiments I made with different shapes. Let me know in the comments which one you like more. <laughs>